I'm on Wikipedia at the entry for Zechariah Sitchin, and I want to start here because of the second paragraph. Sitchin attributes the creation of the ancient Sumerian culture to the Anunnaki, a race of aliens, in his view, from a planet he calls Nibiru, which he believes to be in an elongated elliptical orbit in the Earth's own solar system, and asserts that Sumerian mythology reflects this view. Now, that's fascinating. It's just too bad that there isn't a shred of evidence in the cuneiform text for it. And the purpose of this video is to show you that that is the case, but more than that, to show you where to find the best source that there is on the planet for cuneiform lexicography. Basically, what that just means in more simple English is, what's the best dictionary when it comes to Sumerian and Akkadian terminology? We're going to look at that today. Let me go up to the tab here and click on another Wikipedia entry, the Chicago Assyrian Dictionary. This is the primary source for Akkadian, and of course, Akkadian is related to Sumerian in terms of the adoption of the script, and also, as I pointed out on my website before, the fact that the Akkadians made bilingual dictionaries uh, of Akkadian and Sumerian after they adopted the script. Now, the CAD, as it's known to scholars, is 21 volumes, and it was begun in 1921. Scholars from all over the world for the last, well, since 1921, we'll just say 90 years, have been contributing to the CAD. The CAD is almost complete. You'll notice down here, volume 20 is not yet published, although the material for that has been assembled. But the CAD basically tries to account for all of the words in Akkadian and their Sumerian counterparts, naturally, in the entries that exist in any text anywhere that is known. That's why it's taken 90 years. Now, the wonderful thing about CAD is that you can get all the volumes for free. They're terribly expensive in print, but the University of Chicago has put them online as PDFs for free. So let's click on List of Published Volumes. We'll go to the Oriental Institute website. And here are the volumes of CAD that you can download for free. The one that we're interested in is Volume 11N, Part 2. This is the second N volume. I actually downloaded all these volumes, and here is the volume uh, for N, Volume 2. And what I want to show you is that, we'll go up here on page 167 of the PDF, if we go there. That is where the entry for Nibiru starts. Now, in scholarly sources, because of strict transliteration conventions, it's spelled Nebiru. There's also a Neber 2. If we go, let's just scroll down here. This is familiar from Sitchin's uh, discussion of Nebiru crossing, or uh, the place of the crossing, that sort of thing. That's sort of a basic meaning for uh, Nebiru or Neber 2, the idea of crossing. So here's where Neber 2 is as an entry, and here's where Nebiru begins uh, in the entry. Ferry, Ford, Crossing, Ferry Boat, Ferrying. Three, one of the names of the planet Jupiter. Well, right away that should tell you uh, that it's not a planet beyond Pluto, okay? It's planet Jupiter in Sumerian cosmology. Uh, what you're looking at here in terms of a dictionary entry is here is the Sumerian spelling for Nebiru. The, you have various citations for the text that the term occurs in. Now, in the PDF on my website on, Nib on Nibiru, I uh, went through the CAD entries and made a list of the places where uh, Nibiru or Nebiru uh, shows up uh, in various cuneiform texts to make the point and to show you with real sources, real citations, that the term never means a planet beyond Pluto. It's, it, 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 it never is connected with the Anunnaki. The, these sorts of ideas that are so uh, popular uh, in Zechariah Sitchin's writings, they have no basis in reality when it comes to the cuneiform texts. So if we go to the next page, here's more. Again, just a list of citations, list of possible meanings and context for uh, Nebiru. Uh, I'm not going to obviously read you everything here and all the transliteration and whatnot. The point is, I want to show you that a dictionary exists online, right here, 
you could uh, just watch the video and type in the address here, or go to the Oriental Institute. You can find this, this page. You can just get there through the Wikipedia entry. Download this volume for yourself and read the entry. And I would suggest, and in fact, I would challenge you to do that because you're going to find out that when it comes to what Zechariah Sitchin says about Nibiru, uh, it's completely made up. It's a fabrication and it has no basis in reality when it comes to the cuneiform material. That's the end of this video.